Today, we're going to be talking about what to cover in your PTO summer planning meeting. Now, this is definitely a gathering you should be organizing as the PTO president, making sure that you have scheduled for, I would say, either June or July, maybe late June, mid-July time-ish, because you want to have times for plans to be made in advance of the back-to-school season. What should you be talking about this meeting? Well, one, it should be like a totally a casual gathering. Perhaps some adult beverages can be involved. I use it as both a casual get together so people can get to know each other, like especially crucial if you have new board members for your PTO or new volunteers that want to get involved. It's a good idea to go ahead and get them invited to the planning meeting so that the members can get to know one another. Like it is so much easier to get things done throughout the year if you kind of know people, connect the people over the summer, get together in a more casual setting, but also get some work done too. And it'll really just help prepare you for the new school year. One thing that you should be covering for every position or everything that you want to do, like you should definitely be mapping out a cal- like a planning calendar. Like I have a whole separate video about how to put together a planning calendar. And that is something that should be done. It should be refined during the summer planning meeting. But you should also be taking a look at like what worked and what didn't work from this last year. So you're going to want to review the summary forms that your board members and committee chairs filled out. These forms are part of the President Success Kit. So if you have that resource and you had your officers fill those out, like actually look at them and have them work as guidance for what to change or adapt or tweak or whatever for the upcoming school year. Because the information should not just be documented in a vacuum, like you should be using it. You also want to be talking about like what you hope to do, like get on the same page with your fellow volunteers And as an executive board, decide on the goals for the year. Like, look at the past budget. Like, did you have a lot of money left over? Did you just squeak by? Did you have to cut some things in the last year? Like, though, what happened in the last year is really going to inform what can happen for the upcoming year. You're going to want to note any changes. Like, did you have a huge class of, like, graduating parents? So parents whose kids aged out of the school, they either graduated, they're up into, an, um, or they've moved on into one of the upper levels levels of school, like what does your volunteer base look like? Like what are the actual facts on the ground? Those are all going to kind of go into that actual information about your group is going to make a difference in what your group can do for the new school year. So you shouldn't be making these plans in a in a vacuum. You really should be looking at the actual data and the information that you have at your disposal. And so those planning forms and summary forms that your the past leaders filled out is good. The budget, like what you ended up with, have have the treasurer come with the year-end report. And so you can see where everything kind of came in at or what it's forecasted to be coming in at. And so you know what changes you need to make. You want to get on the same page about what you hope to make happen for the year and then start to map out and plan out what it's going to take to make that happen. Like, is that a realistic goal? Can you do that? And then start to talk about what changes need to be made. Maybe you don't need to make any changes. Maybe you have enough volunteers. Maybe it's that your PTO has decided that you want to open up the concession stand for more than just the football games, that you want to do soccer and volleyball and wrestling and any other fall sporting event, well, what's it going to take to make that happen? What people do you need to bring in? What equipment do you need to make that happen? So maybe your PTO needs to look into purchasing some equipment to make life easier. I know specifically, talk about concessions, because that is how my high school PTO makes pretty much all of its money. And so in the last couple of years, we've made a semi-significant investment in equipment in order to make that happen. Like we bought card readers. This last year, we bought a cash counting machine. We bought fans because it's hotter than heck. And we are all women of a certain age. And we were all like sweating profusely. And I thought, this is just nonsense for us to be so uncomfortable when we could go spend $120 on like three kick butt fans from Costco. And we would it would just make it a little more enjoyable. And I got to tell you, everyone loves those fans. (laughs) Because like I said, we're women of a certain age, and we all get hot really easily. And So yeah, just made it a little more pleasant. So there are little, little tweaks that you can make. Like $120 was not a huge investment, but we are 
it was one that was really well worth it. And I'm, everyone was like, why didn't we think of this earlier? <laughs> but when you take when you're taking the time to talk about things, and to kind of dream a little big, and because there are there's over the summer, there's usually no pressing business that is taking place. So you can think about those bigger picture items and dream a little bit more and think about what could be rather than what has been and being limited. Like you can think of the possibilities. So um, I would encourage your group to think big and think outside of the box and think about like all the things we that I've just laid out for you. So like what you hope to do and what changes you need to make. Like I think that when you are taking the time to plan well in advance of the new school year, then you really have so many more opportunities available to you rather than if you're trying to make it happen last minute. Because you could look into sponsors. Like again, all this stuff takes time, right? If you're looking for sponsors for staff appreciation or you want to do a PTO shirt maybe and have t-shirt sponsors for that, all that takes some time, some planning time. So you want to do that as early as possible so that you can look into all of the possibilities. So I so hope that this has been helpful for you in imagining how you can have an effective summer planning meeting and take advantage of relaxed schedules and bring people together to not only get to know each other better, which is really going to lay a really solid foundation for you to work cohesively throughout the school year, but also will help because you'll have initial plans made at the same time too. So I hope it's been super helpful and that you join me for my next video. Want even more guidance on how to be a stronger leader so you can run a better PTO or PTA? All of these resources and more are waiting for you at ptoanswers.com.